Greg, how does it feel to sign for Oxford United? Yeah, it's, it's really exciting. You know, it's been a, a difficult, long process, but it's been, uh, it's, it's, it's been good to get it over the line, yeah. Uh, most of the, the Oxford fans have seen you play against us over the years. <laughs> yeah, it's been uh, a few times, yeah. You've scored for us. Oh, don't do that. No, you <laughs> have. <laughs> no, you have. No, don't You're do a that. goal up. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. Uh, I, uh, what, do you, what do you want to tell me about that? That was a uh, cry for help. <laughs> that was a cry for help. Someone get me out of this place, yeah. yeah, type of thing. So I was like, you know what? Like, if I score for you now, maybe in the future you'll repay the debt. So this yes. is technically we're talking about yeah, this is technically for Barry, So uh, yeah, uh, your football journey. I hate using the word, but your football journey. Tell us how it began. Uh, very young, you know. I think that uh, I was at Man City Academy, and I think going through that, you don't really think about being a footballer. Like you just kind of enjoy playing, and you play at a good level. Like, but you all you know is you're a kid, and you're just enjoying it. I think that then. Maybe 16, 17 became a bit more real scholarship time and like, oh, well, you know, I'm now still in the game. A lot of people had fell out or changed clubs. And then my football journey probably started for me when I went to crew on loan for the first time. I had a good year before that and then went to crew on loan and that was my introduction into men's football. You're now at Oxford United. How instrumental was Liam Manning in this for you? Yeah, massive. I think he's, he's a big attraction for player signing. You know, having a manager who has a good philosophy and a, and a real way of doing things that's proved to be successful is a big attraction. Yeah, for sure. Do you know any of the players in the squad? I've played against them quite a bit. I don't know them personally, but I've, I've played against them quite a bit and I know they're all very, very good players. So that's another, again, another attraction to come and join Oxford United. You will have watched us in the last two or three games when mm. we, we really play some very nice football. That's going yeah. to suit you, isn't it? Yeah, a million percent. You know, I've been impressed by what I've seen. I like, I like the way the team play. I like the way the manager's got the boys playing. And yeah, that's something that coming from Ipswich and being more used to that, especially in the, in the last year of my, of my career, excited to go forward and, and do again. And, you know, there's football here and I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm here for it. Two questions I have to ask. Are you fully fit? Yes, 100%. You've done a full pre-season? Full pre-season, no complications. Um, tough, <laughs> but, it was, uh, but it's good and I'm, fe I'm feeling good. Uh, and so what is the aim now? I mean, the aim, there's, there's loads of aims, but I think that the main aim is to be successful the, with the team. You know, I, I want to play as well as possible, play as many games as possible and do and show what I can do. You know, I think that's a big thing for me is having a platform to show my skill set, my uh, performances and, and try and beat them every time, but also be successful as a team. Try and, you know, achieve big things, you know, achieve promotion as fast as possible. And yeah, just, just yeah, be, be successful as a side, yeah. And they're starting at Charlton on Saturday, a big crowd, it's a bank holiday, we're in good form. That's going to be a, a great occasion to be involved the first time. Oh, 100%, 100%. You know, I think that coming off the back of a really successful week with regards to being here and, and obviously Charlton having a bit of an upset at, at the weekend, I think that they'll be looking to turn that round, but it's important on a big occasion to, to, to show up and do the right things. And I think that that's the main aim for any team that's going up against them at the moment, and especially in team who's in good form. And yeah, hopefully if I can add to that, be involved, I'd, I'd, yeah, I'd, it's going to be a it's gonna be good day. All right, blessings to everybody. Welcome back to the Formula Sports channel. Welcome back, thanks for being here. As you guys can see in this particular video, we'll be talking Greg Lay and his transfer move. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Greg Lay is the latest Jamaican reggae boy to make a transfer move, you know? I've been working on a video, reggae boys who need transfer moves right i might i might drop it right i might drop it but i was working on the video and this reggae boy greg lay was one of those who i was originally including in the video of reggae boys that need a transfer move before the window closes and then you know today news broke that greg lay has indeed made that transfer move he, he needed a transfer move for a number of different reasons. I didn't see him certainly not starting for Ipswich Town this season. And game time, I think, would have been very difficult for him this season at recently promoted Ipswich Town in the English League Championship. So I'm very happy to see that Greg Lay has made a transfer move. Um, for those of you who don't know, Greg Lay played left back and left midfield for Ipswich Town last season in the English third tier, the English League One. And, uh, you know, 
Ipswich Town got promoted to the championship at the end of last season. Um, Greg Lee is on his way to Oxford United, which is a club that competes in the English third tier, the English League One. So he's going back to the English third tier. And uh, yeah, we wish Greg Lee all the best for this upcoming season. A player that has really struggled in recent years, not because of footballing ability or the lack thereof, but you know, his injury problems, you know, he's one of them. <laughs> You know, he's one of them, you know, footballers who, you know, has serious challenges with injuries. And, you know, come to think of it, we have a couple of Jamaican reggae boys that, you know, have issues with injuries. We have a couple of them, you know, the likes of Kemar Roof and the likes of Kevin Stewart, Jordan Cousins, just to name a few. We have, we have a couple of them, well, more than a couple within the in the reggae boy squad. Greg Lee is a player that, excites many jamaican fans given the way how he plays a lot of pace a lot of power a lot of energy you know a lot of directness a lot of braveness a lot of attacking intent you know he's that kind of a left-sided player you know mostly a left back and also a left midfielder as well left wing back as well anywhere along the left channel that's greg lay's forte last season didn't really feature much for Ipswich Town and hasn't featured of recent times in recent times for the Jamaica national team either and that's mostly down to injury he missed most of last season whenever he was fit he featured for Ipswich Town last season but he was out for you know lengthy periods because of injury and you know wasn't really in the mix for the Jamaica national team either for those of you who are not so familiar with his club situation and wondering how you guys have not seen this exciting player in the Jamaica national team in recent times. It is because of his injury scenario. So you guys heard him say in the interview that, you know, he's fit. So hopefully he can say that way. He's a player that has been robbed of a lot of opportunity, in my humble opinion, because he has failed to get his injury problems under control right um again he's going to oxford united in the english third tier um you know we do it over here in the formula sports we're giving you guys a you know a brief rundown on the club oxford united um so they are a former english league cup winner they have won the english league cup you know they're also a former english second tier champion they have won the english second tier in the past and they have also won the english third tier the english league one twice you know so it's a club that has some silverware in their trophy cabinet so for the last five seasons oxford united have been competing in the english league one the english third tier right in the 2018 2019 campaign they finished 12th out of 24 teams in the 2019-2020 campaign, they finished third out of 23 teams. However, they didn't make it in the playoffs. In the 2020-2021 campaign, they finished sixth out of 24 teams. In the 2021-2022 campaign, they finished eighth out of 24 teams. And in the 2022-2023 campaign, they see the campaign that just ended, they finished 19th out of 24 teams. So, you know, that's a, a brief history on the last five seasons that they have competed in League One and what they have done. So far this season in League One, they have registered three victories and one loss in four games so far this season. So it's fair to say that they have started this season rather brightly, right? Um, this is the eighth consecutive season that Oxford United is competing in the English League One, the English third tier. They were promoted after the 2015-2016 campaign when they registered a second place finish 
in the English League Two, the English fourth tier, right? So, you know, that's a brief history on this particular club, Oxford United, that Greg Lay is heading to. Well, he's already there, right? And uh, yeah, we wish Greg Lay all the best. You know, as usual, the first order of business is, well, in terms of when you look at the big objectives, I would imagine that the first order of business would be to get himself into the starting 11, you know, especially given the fact that the season has already started. And also, you know, that might not be the easiest battle to win for Greg Lee because from what I understand in doing some research, the player that currently has Greg Lee's game is uh, last season's Oxford United player of the season. You know, from what I understand, given the research that I've done, so, you know, getting himself into that starting 11 might be easier said than done. Seeing, but we wish Greg Lee all the best. A talented player, man. A player that I think has underachieved, in my humble opinion, underachieved because of his struggles to stay fit. You know, that's also probably going to be a big objective for him this season as well, to try and register a season, get a season on the board, you know, where he is available for at least most of the season, right? And, and not ruled out for large portions of the season because of injury. Let me just read quickly what Greg Lee's new manager at Oxford United had to say about him on the article on your screen, which is on the Oxford United website. And by the way, before I get into the article, the length of the contract has not been publicly disclosed, ladies and gentlemen. Not as, not as yet, anyways. I don't see it anywhere, right? So, quickly, what Greg Lee's new manager had to say about him. And it's on your screen. Greg is a really accomplished left back and a, ter a terrific character. He brings that balance down the left has had success at this level and knows the division. With Ciaran Brown, or Kiaran Brown, however you pronounce that, doing so well there, we now have serious competition in that position, which will be another big positive for us. Ed Waldron, head of recruitment, added, Greg has power and natural physicality to his game and there's someone we identified a while back. Interesting. So they have had their eyes on him for quite some time. He likes to get forward, but he also understands the defensive side of playing at left back. He has such a positive personality, and we are really happy to have got the deal done. The article goes on to say that Greg is likely to be involved for the first time when we welcome Charlton Athletic to the Kazam Stadium on Saturday. So, you know, that's what individuals from Oxford United had to say about their new addition, Greg Lee. Knock up the likes button, subscribe and share to the Formula Sports channel. These are all free and easy ways to support the channel. Stay safe, take care, and we wish Greg Lee all the best for this season and until next time.